Uh, first off, I want to thank all the media for showing up today. Um, I think your guys has helped promoting the league, and and all, all the things you guys do is is greatly appreciated by all the coaches here today. Um, you know these outstanding in institutions in our league. You know wouldn't be where we're at without you guys' support. Um, I truly believe that the reason our league is so special is because of the administration and coaches that are here. Um, their daily efforts help create environments that attract quality young people to their to their schools. Um, you know, this is my second year uh, as he as head coach, and you know I'm really eager to get the season going. Um, you know, last year that I was able to see how talented this league actually was, and you know I'm excited for us to to embrace that grind again this year. Um, there's so much talent around the league this year, especially on the mound. You know, I'm very excited for that challenge that, that the league presents this year. You know, we, we lost quite a bit last year. We lost a lot of arms on the mound. Um, you know, us four Division One athletes for us, and then you know when our number one pitcher went out with, with, with arm injury this year. So you know, definitely gonna be um, not so much a rebuilding year, but kind of a chance for other guys to step up this year. We'll definitely be young on the mound. Um, you know, and there's a lot of things we got to do to get better. Um, you know, top to bottom. But you know, we have young guys. You know, like a, like a guy, like a junior, like AJ Valle here. Um, we have some senior leadership, and you know, there's a lot of work to be done for us on the mound. But you know, I think that the young guys we have will give us a competitive chance this year. Offensively, um, we have enough returning where we feel pretty. We have a chance to be competitive. We got to be really good at doing little things well. Um, and these guys work really hard on, on a daily basis. You know, we have to be really good at the little things, the details. Um, you know, moving runners up. Uh, executing bunts um, and whatnot, but you know, I, I really believe that these guys have a chance to be competitive, and you know, these guys work hard every day, and they believe it. So, um, um, so again, we got Andy Trebagian. Uh, he's with us. You know, he's, he's a senior second baseman. Um, he's a, one, he was our one of our leading hitters last year. He hit second, like hit second. First lead off for us, kind of do a little bit of everything, and we're expecting a lot from him. You know, we have a young pitching staff, and we have a. You know, I'm excited to have Mike Garcia, who's a great leader, um, anchoring that, helping that kind of lead and anchor that pitching staff behind, from behind the plate. And AJ will be a two way guy for us, playing some third base and pitching, um, and doing a lot for us as well. So we're excited with with the young talent we have. Again, we have a lot of work to do, but we're really, really, we're expecting a lot of things from ourselves, and hopefully, surprise some people this year. Thank you. <clears throat> Andrew, talk to me about how you would describe this program here at Modern Day. Uh, really, we're trying to just build this atmosphere and this mentality for ourselves of just work hard and grind every day, in and out, and uh, just get better, trying to lead the younger guys, build them up a bit, just to help bring this program back, back to the top. Great, thank you. AJ? What are you looking forward to this season? Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to a lot this season. I think the biggest thing is, you know, I know how hard, um, you know, our guys are working. You know, I know how hard every guy next to me has been working, you know, since the first day of the off season, all the way through leading up to these weeks before season. I think the most excited thing is um, I'm just ready to go out there and play, you know, just kind of uh, let everything loose and, you know, uh, put our best nine guys out there um, and, uh, you know, just really kind of show uh, all the hard work we've, we've been putting in. Thank you. And Mike, talk to me about uh, what makes the Trinity League so special. Uh, well, the Trinity League is so special. Uh, there's a bunch of D1 athletes, uh, and a bunch of hardworking people. These people are going to go to the next level and, and beyond. And I think the Trinity League consists of hardworking players. And um, it's just a remarkable um, league to be in. So, yeah. Thank you. All right, we'll go ahead and open up the floor. Coach, big loss this year in Alonzo Treadwell. Your UCLA commit underwent TJ surgery. Tell me a little about how his number one developments come along and how it has affected your team uh, going forward this year. Well, it's a huge loss for us, not only on the field, but also um, you know, emotionally. I think the guys were expecting a lot from him on the mound as well with the bat. He's a two-way guy, and he, he's a big physical guy who swings the bat well. He produces runs at the plate, and he, he does a good job on the mound of, you know, the last two years as a freshman and sophomore in varsity. Um, you know, he's healthy. He's, he's, he's recovering well. Surgery was a success. Thank you for asking. Um, 
But, you know, like I told the boys, we have to move forward. You know, it's not a, it's not a one-man show. And as much as we're going to miss him, you know, he's one of our biggest supporters um, of his teammates. He shows up to practice every day still and is trying to be a great teammate. Um, you, you know, we just have to move forward. You know, and our guys know that we have guys who are, who are eager to step up. It's just it creates an opportunity for somebody else to step up and do something special. So our guys are ready to, for, for that challenge. Coach, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, anyhow, last year we sat here and we talked about culture, your first year trying to establish a culture, this and that. And I think watching you guys during the season, you saw that. Flash is like, okay, it's starting to click, and then maybe a you know, step back, two steps forward sort of thing. Where, how, do you feel you, how do you feel about where you are you know, in that process? Obviously, it's a, an extensive, ongoing process. But year two, you know, with some setbacks, I mean, obviously that's going to challenge your culture a little bit and your, your resiliency. But how do you feel about where you are in the development of that culture that you spoke about you know, last year in that modern-day culture? Anytime you take over a program, it's it's going to be a challenge for for any coach in any sport. Um, trying to build your own thing, you try to build your own like an environment. And for us, our emphasis this year is continuing to just keep going from the the progress we made last year. And every year forward, again, it's not about me. It's more about these guys buying into something that's bigger than them, as far as being great teammates and pushing themselves to be the best version of themselves every day. Um, I, I feel confident that. But the, the steps we're making on a daily basis are, are what's making this a special environment to be at. These guys, they, they show up, they work hard, they, they, they're, they're very supportive of each other, and it makes it enjoyable for the coaching staff to be around. And when you, kinda, when you can create that kind of environment, that's where the real, that's when the good things start happening. That's why, again, on paper, you know, we might not be the most attractive team in the league, but I really like this group, and I think they'll probably be one of the bigger surprises this year. Coach Steve Granato, uh, CA Sports Zone. Uh, to piggyback off of that, first year in the league last year, what was the hardest part for you transition-wise? Uh, probably the administration work. That was probably the most challenging. Um, you know, um, I think that every game you compete in, and I saw this last year, was an absolute grind. You know, there was, there was no pushover game, um, you know, from any team in the league. Everybody has arms. Everybody has competitive bats. Everybody shows up to play. I mean, all these coaches are phenomenal, and that's why they're here. They do a great job of getting their teams prepared. Um, they do a great scout job scouting your team, so they already kind of know what you're going to do ahead of time. Um, so for us, it, it, for, for, sorry, for me, it, it was just kind of trying to adapt to how guys do, how the other coaches coach, and try to figure out how to kind of game plan against them as well. But it was, it was, that was part of the, one of the best parts of it, though. I enjoy that, that competition that these guys present on a daily basis. Dimitri related to the girls' basketball player? Yes, sir, twin uh, sister. Uh, <laughs> all right. And the other one is, uh, you know, for the guys, you know, this, this school you're at, really, you know, good in a lot of things athletically, and I suppose it's probably a bit of a mix of inspiration and then maybe a little sort of pressure to try and keep up. You know, how do you guys relate to that in terms of, you know, where you guys fit and trying to keep up with the, the other fine programs at this place? Uh, I think the biggest thing for us is, you know, um, just really trying to control what we can control. You know, uh, I think, you know, as a young team, we have to try and be as mature as we can. And, you know, there's obviously in the Trinity League and at Modern Day, there's a lot going on around us. Uh, there's a lot going on in the media. And, you know, I think we just try and keep our heads out of that as much as possible and just focus on what we're doing every day as a team because we know that, you know, if we're bringing a championship mentality every day, uh, again, just a little bit better every day, um, as long as we focus on ourselves and on our teammates, that, that's how we're going to have the most success. Thanks. Coach Bob Gibson, uh, Catholic Sports View. Um, I really thought Sky Silinski really, you know, showed last year, you know, kind of what you could project, you know, what kind of player he's going to be. Is that the kind of kid who's going to be able to step up and maybe you know, help help fill that, uh, that that Alonzo role for you? Yeah, Sky's going to be a huge part of our team this year. I know last year he logged 28 at-bats. He was pulled up halfway during the season as a sophomore. Um, my true belief is some of these young guys that didn't get a lot of experience last year, they don't have a lot of experience, period, and were brought up late, um, 
and or newer guys this year that were on JV last year. They're they're good players. There's really good players here. They just haven't had a chance to prove themselves in, in varsity level yet. Um, and we have some sophomores up on varsity too. But again, young guys like Sky are going to help pave the way for the future. You know, this year is great. Next year will be great. You know, there's a lot of quality, talented kids here at the pro in the program. Um, and we just need some of those younger guys like Sky and, and some of those sophomores to, to grow up fast. Yeah, Coach, kind of uh, along the same lines here, Sebastian Guzman, another 21, and, and Drew Porter. Why don't you talk a little bit about those two and the impact that they're making? So both Drew and, and Seabass, they were both on varsity last year as sophomores. They played significant innings. Um, Drew, what do you have here? He had about 60, 70 at-bats last year, um, and Guz had about 20 at-bats. I know Guz, was a, he was a switch hitter last year, and he moved to just lefty this year which will, I think, help solidify his consistency at the plate. I mean, Goose is a great arm on the mound. He'll be logging a bunch of innings for us. Um, Porter shifted to first base with Alonzo's injury this year. And so they're, they're playing some new spots, but they should be able to produce. You know, and again, we have a lot of un, unproven talent, but I think those guys are, are going to have great years. Andrew, uh, traditionally, at least in my experience at Modern Day, you get a senior middle infielder. He's generally the captain on the field, whether it's you know, talked about or not. Is that something you kind of take pride in? Is that something that you, what do you do in that role as a senior middle infielder at Modern Day with some young guys around you? How do you take that leadership level to a, you know, I guess a next level here this spring, particularly with some youth around you? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, honestly, I just, I try to support all the guys, try to build them up, especially those younger guys. Um, they kind of need a, leader to look to and help them guide and show them the way that we do it in modern day just help build this community that we have this winning mentality so yeah honestly it's just a few of us guys got to step up and become the leaders 